unbiased trades here and today i'm just going to be going over some small um tad bits of how you can streamline your trading some of these you already know i'm i'm sure of it but maybe one or two you won't um, and then just a very small review of the week for me and anything i've learned um, anything i've done good anything i've done bad let's get into this right okay um one button to open many tabs or softwares um, this is a great thing I do in the morning. Um, I just gave a small example. I don't want to share everything I open personally. Um, but this is the kind of main things. Um, so you can see that I open Finviz. Um, I do use another software, but this is just an example. Um, I open chess. Uh, this is a new thing for me. I open chess in the morning because I've realized, um, because I'm based in the UK, uh, I will have a lot more time in the morning when I'm watching and reviewing stocks. Uh, where I'll sometimes take an impulsive trade, you know, I'll, I'll think something kind of looks good in pre-market and I'm like, damn, I, you know, I should trade this. But statistically, for me at the moment, I have not developed a good enough system for pre-market trades. I'm just not good enough yet. And the way I've been able to do this is by playing chess in the morning. So if I'm done with all my things, like checking criteria and all these kind of things and planning out my trades, then I'll just play chess, you know, relax, play some chess, and that's about it. Um, dilution tracker, another great one. If you're shorting stocks, you should definitely use that. Uh, and then trading view, obviously, just for um, charting and stuff like that, too. You know, but you can open up anything you want. Um, I will give you the warning that if you try and open up something that requires a license key, then it probably won't work. Um, it's the way the uh, software is opening it. It's opening it technically as like a new install. Um, obviously, it's not installing it again, but it, it's like opening it just on the exe file. Um, so if you don't understand that, don't worry, but just, you know, keep in mind, it won't open the license key as well. So you'll have to either re-enter that or you just don't add it to the list and you can open it yourself, but you can open a lot of things. So mainly I use this for Chrome because I open up a lot of tabs. So this can just open up, you know, eight tabs with one click. It's amazing. Um, the way you do this, just create a text file in your, um, uh, computer anywhere. Uh, and then save it as a dot bat and you can look up different uh, commands but for chrome you can see it's just start chrome and then put the link and you can save this as a dot bat and you'll be fine and it will open so yeah this is a really good one next one is a digital journaling website like tradersync um, this just allows you to import all your trades from your broker automatically you can just click the file in boom import it you don't have to manually uh, enter all the things and the great thing about TraderSync is you can add like mistakes and stuff so this can be a very easy way to log mistakes um, or notes about certain trades very quickly and then see statistics based off those notes or tags so this is really good you can also use a trader view for this but uh, I say TraderSync is quite good as well next is a Evernote trade review template. Um, I did use to use Notion for this, but I found Evernote is a lot better with handling images, uh, which is vital for, you know, reviewing your trades. So this is just a template of what I have for my Evernote. I have my setup, uh, my bias, market cap flow, all this kind of stuff. You can read them all here. Um, score is a thing based off my report card. So on my report card, I will uh, put like one out of 10. I'll give myself a little, uh, uh, grade on each different part of these things I see if I've done correctly or not and then that will give me an overall score like an A, B, F, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but this is a great way. So basically you can just make a template in Evernote and then every new note you make uh, in this with this template, it will just be loaded up the exact same and you can just enter in the things and it's it, it takes so much less time than, you know, having to create a new one or copy and paste or stuff like that. So this is um, really useful. I definitely recommend Evernote for uh, trading reviewing. And then this is just my week review. So I'm up uh, 8.6R this week um, with only, I think, about four trades. I only traded three days this week. So I'm very happy with my results this week. It was a great week for me. Um, and mainly this was because of uh, PIK. Um, mainly it was that I actually saw the long play in it for once and I wasn't just uh, clouded and only thought there was only a short. So this has been something that's been amazing to me. Um, the main reason this was possible was pretty much noticing the sentiment of small caps changing. There's a lot more holding up. There's a lot more actually pushing and me realizing, well, hey, like I, I know how to capitalize on this. I have a basic strategy for longing. Um, it's a pretty easy one. I think most people would do it. It just uh, uses the nine EMA and just certain conditions. 
But the main thing I saw was that, okay, so if I'm reviewing this for a short, hey, this doesn't look good for a short at all. It has no dilution um, or it doesn't have dilution because it has warrants, you know, far out or uh, the float isn't very good or the volume is way too much or, you know, multiple things that I check. I'm like, oh, wow, this really isn't a short. So then my brain's like finally connecting that, hey, this could be a long, you know, like you can't just, you know, be stupid and enter anywhere, but you could see if there is somewhere for a long to happen, especially if shorts are trapped. So this is pretty much what I did. So um, with Pike, this was a day two. So my first bias was that, hey, this this is, you know, statistically, day twos for me work very, very well. Um, this meets most of the criteria, but this could still be a good long. So um, the beginning, I, I tried shorting it. I think I lost about 1.5 R uh, over here, trying to short it. I learned, hey, yeah, this is definitely not the, the move to go. It's looking very strong. We got really strong volume. Um, to be honest, going back over it, I definitely could uh, of not taking these trades. It was pretty kind of easy to see that I, I shouldn't have taken these trades because of the high amount of volume. But I definitely wanted to kind of give it a go. Um, but yeah, and then I switched long and I just I just longed off these uh, hold, these bid props and sold into the highs, bought the little dips along these two EMAs. Uh, really important part for me on these was the tape. I could see that they really weren't letting this break down very much. It would push down, kind of fake out, and then boom, instant big eye, uh, big buy orders um, and start pushing back up again. So that was perfect. And then after we had this uh, new high and then we finally got an actual big breakdown with this candle, I was like, okay, now is the time where I'm looking for shorts. Um, this is either going to, you know, completely reclaim and I'm wrong and it's going to break all the new highs, but this now is meeting more criteria for backside trades. So I had a very small entry here, um, still could have been better. I could have waited longer, but I'm not too upset about this. Um, had a bigger entry here, bigger entry here. And then I added even more here because I could reduce my risk. My risk was originally just above this level. Um, after this candle, I could just move it down because I knew if it reclaimed anywhere above here, then we're probably going to um, push quite high or like reclaim. So I added a lot more size here so I could um, reduce my risk and increase my R. And that was pretty much it. And then we covered into the, the breakdown towards the five minute uh, EMAs. Uh, and this was pre-market high level over here. So uh, it was a really good trade. Really, really happy with it. Um, it was amazing. I, I I think this trade alone was pretty much 4R or 5R um, for for the week. So <laughs> this, this pretty much was the trade for the week. But um, yeah, it was just great. I think I've improved a lot. Still a lot of things I need to improve on. Um, like this weekend, I'm developing a psyche map to, to really evaluate my psyche and see what things are causing what issues um but yeah so i hope you've enjoyed this video hope you learned something on how you can streamline your trading um i really recommend all of them if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and thank you very much